with me. I open them pages, they talk to me. Come on now, brew walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. He always shot pay the cost on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. Yeah, yeah. I open them pages, they talk to me. Come on now, brew walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. He always shot pay the cost on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. All right, first and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High God, Yahweh. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Christ, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right? Everybody's been looking at us all day like, who in the hell are we? And what in the hell are we doing? We are the Hebrew Israelites. We're here to teach you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, your true biblical identity and nationality, man. Right. All right? I see you Judites, you so-called African Americans out here on vacation, right? Got a little EDD money, however the hell you getting your damn money, you are spending it in good old Puerto Rico, man. All right, all right, meanwhile, your brothers aren't suffering here just like they are back in the States. In poverty here, and all of y'all scared, terrified as hell of this damn thing, and y'all getting ready to get this shot, all right? What y'all got to understand is, when are y'all going to trust in the Most High God? That's my question. Give me a, a Jeremiah 17, let's start there. Bring it up. Jeremiah 17, let's start at the fifth verse, right? When are you so-called blacks and Hispanics going to trust in the Most High God. Huh. Y'all have put your trust in your slave master for far too long. Right? Read that. Huh. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 5. Uh-huh. Thus saith the Most High, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. See, that's the problem, man. You wonder why we're cursed and we're destroyed, whether it be on the island of Puerto Rico, whether it be in the ghettos of America. Why are we cursed? Read that again. Con. Cursed be the man that trusts in man. Cursed is the man that trusts in man. Why are we destroyed as a people? Because we trust in man. What man do we trust in? The same man that colonized us. The same man that enslaved us. The same man that stole our identity. That same man is who our people trust in. How can you trust in these people? Right? You in Puerto Rico, that damn Hurricane Maria came through, knocked the roofs off your houses. Right? We was in La Pella yesterday, man. I seen houses with no roofs, right? And the white man ain't did a damn thing about it yet. That's right. But you trusted at. him for a shot. Read that, Salakia. So I'm coming right to you. Go ahead. And, and make it flesh his arm. And what? Make it flesh his arm. That's the problem. Y'all keep trusting in this devil for your salvation. You keep trusting in El Diablo for your salvation, man. You ain't gonna get no salvation from the white man. You're not going to get no salvation from the American government, man. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh -huh. Trust in the Lord. It say what? Trust in the Lord. When are you going to trust in the Lord? That's my question. Uh, every time you pass by the church, Iglesia, you do the sign of the cross, right? You love Jesus so much, but you trust in the government, man. You trust in America, right? Read. Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in the Most High God with all your heart. The creator of heaven and earth with all your heart, whose name is Yahweh, right? With all your heart, read. And lean not unto thine own understanding. That's the problem, man. Y'all lean to your own understanding. You understand, you think that this government, when they put a shot out, that it's just going to be for everybody's betterment. And everybody's just going to do good with it. When they have something that's going to come and rewrite your goddamn DNA with it, right? How stupid can our people, our people don't know what's in this damn thing. They just think, well, the white man said if we take it, everything will be back to normal, and I just want everything back to normal. What the hell is back to normal? Normal is a damn house with no roof on it, man. Is that what normal is to Puerto Rico? Right? That's what you want to get back to? This place got to be destroyed, man. That's, That's right. right. This place got to be destroyed. Look what the hell the white man has done to your island, man. The poor the riches he came and found it. Where are the goddamn riches now? Oh, you know what I saw as soon as I got to Puerto Rico? All I saw is poverty, man. That's all I've seen. How is the Puerto Rico, how is the poor the riches in poverty, man? How did that happen? Why does the Puerto Rican live in poverty in this island, man? Right? When his name literally says he's rich. I'll tell you how, man. All right? The same guy that wants to give you a shot robbed you already. That's he right. already hit a lick on your silly ass, man. And he's hitting a lick on you now through, to, through this tourism madness, man, and get, giving you pennies and peanuts. And you think it's something. Wake the hell up. Go ahead. Time. That was it on that? Go ahead, Salaki. Go ahead, more on that. Uh -huh. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And say what? In all ways acknowledge him. That's what we're supposed to do. In all our ways, we are supposed to acknowledge the most high God. 
That's what we're supposed to do. That's our job, black and Hispanic man. That's right. Right? Read. And he shall direct thy path. And he what? And he shall direct thy path. And our paths are supposed to be directed into the kingdom. Into the kingdom under his son, who you call Jesus Christ, who you call Jesus Christo. Whose name in the Hebrew is Yahawashah. Hamashiach Yahawashah. That's the path we're supposed to be directed to. The path to the kingdom of God. Right? Instead, you want the path of to keep living in hell. Right? The island of Puerto Rico is become hell. That's right. Right? Just like all the ghettos of America where the black and Hispanic live. Hell, that's what it's become. Right? That's what it is. Hell. You want to stay in hell when heaven is a mile away. Read. Come. Back in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 5. Uh-huh. That make it flesh his arm. That what? Make it flesh his arm. Read on. And whose heart departed from the most high. See, that's where your heart is going. All the hearts of our people. Why are you saying corazón? Corazón. Your corazón. Heart, corazón. Is departing from the most high God. Your heart is not being upright with your creator. And you wonder why we in these positions now. Everywhere we are. It don't matter. I've seen every place I go, I see the same thing. Right? In any hood, in any island, it's the same damn thing. And that's because the hearts of the chosen people of God have departed from God. Right? That's the only reason this has happened. If you would simply come back to the laws, the statutes, and the commandments that God gave us in this Bible, we would be set on high. We would, be, we would have heaven, man. All right? Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 5. Uh-huh. You good. Come, come. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 5. Uh-huh. Whoso keepeth the commandments, whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing. They say what? He... Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. See, that's what we're trying to get. But this evil is constantly haunting the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. Everywhere we go every day because we're not keeping the commandments. This is all we're trying to tell you blacks and Hispanics. Keep the commandments of God like you put that goddamn mask on your face. All of y'all walking around with this mask on your face. You kept all the commandments of the white man, right? You bowed down to that white Jesus. You kept all the commandments of the white man. Start keeping the commandments of God. That's right. Right? He said, put a, the white man said, put a mask on your face. Why you can't put a fringe on your shirt, man? That's right. That's my goddamn question. Talk about it. Is that so unreasonable? I don't think it's unreasonable at all. Right? Give me that his commandments are not grievous, man. That's what we're here to teach you so-called blacks and Hispanics, man. All right? You Puerto Ricans, you so-called african American. All of y'all, we are here to teach y'all a very specific thing, right? And that's to keep the commandments of the Most High God. Bring it out. That's to honor the Most High God and all that you do, to serve oh, yeah. the Most High God, to love your brother. That's what we are here to teach. Something y'all ain't never learned in your goddamn church. That's your right. church never taught you anything about God, how to love God, how to love your brother, any of it. Right? Ain't, ain't teach you to do nothing but be a goddamn idolater and a murderer and a drug dealer. All that we learn that at the church. Read that. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 5, verse 12. Uh-huh. For when for the time ye ought to be teaching. It's the time you ought to be teaching. I'm looking at a bunch of a bunch of grown-ass black and Hispanic people walking around here. Right? Thinking they just having a day on the beach or something like that. Right? They ought to be teaching right now. Read. Ye have need that one teach you again. It's, you have need to be taught again. That's what time it is. It's time for you to be taught again. Right. And we are the people that the Most High God has sent to the island of Puerto Rico to teach y'all again. That's, That's right. right. Read. Right. Right. Which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High. The first principles of the oracles of God, the Most High God, all his laws, statutes, and commandments. That's something that y'all are oblivious to. How do I know every goddamn Puerto Rican restaurant I go into, 60% of that menu is pork. On a good day, it might be 70, 80%. 60% of that menu at least is swine God said not to eat. Right? Everywhere I go in that port, now I see Feliz Navidad every goddamn where. The white Mary and Jesus and all that madness. Right? 
the most high said to not rear you up a standing image and idol. That's right. But that's what's in your goddamn front yard. Uh -huh. So this is how I know you don't know the first principles of the oracles of God. And we're here to teach you so-called blacks and Hispanics that I go ahead. Con, and are become such as have need of milk uh -huh. and not of strong meat. That's right. Y'all ain't ready for the deepness of this Bible. They coming to ask it about the lost books of the Bible and this. Y'all don't know a damn thing about the Bible. That's right. You ain't learned nothing in that church about this Bible. We're here to give it to you raw in the spirit and power of your Yahweh by Shimei Shai. That's right. The first right. principles. Right? The first principles. You need to learn. Stop eating pork, man. Right? That's what the hell you You don't even know that. How you going to know about the lost books? You, you still got, you still sucking on swine. Right. Talking about the lost books of the Bible. But that's our people. They'll skip over the milk for the meat and then wonder why they choke and die. Right? That's it on that? That's it on that. Go ahead, hit that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. for, this, for this is the love of God. This is what? This is the love of God. So we're trying to teach you so-called blacks and Hispanics how to love God. This is the love of God, very clearly defined in the Bible. Read. That we keep his commandments. That what? That we keep his commandments. That what? That we keep his commandments. We got to keep the commandments of God. Which one of your churches have taught you to keep God's commandments? That's my question to every so-called black and Hispanic out here. Con. Which one of y'all churches have taught you to keep God's commandments? Read. And his commandments are not grievous. And what? And his commandments are not grievous. It's not grievous, man. That's the problem. You've been told in that church that nobody can do this. It's too hard. Don't worry about that. But the Bible tells me that his commandments are not grievous. Precept. So why is it our people are so afraid of keeping the commandments of God? What's stopping you from keeping the commandments of God? Nothing but the spirit of Satan on you is stopping you from keeping the commandments of God. We're to tell you so-called blacks and Hispanics that if you come back to God's commandments, you'll get out of the hells of Puerto Rico, right? right? It's no longer the poor. How do you say poor or like impoverished? Pobre. Pobre. Pobre? Poverty is pobreza. Pobreza, right? You're now the Puerto Pobreza, man. You, you see what I'm saying? Puerto de Pobreza. <laughs> El Puerto de Pobreza. There's no more riches here. It's gone. Look at this place. It's gone. Right? They got it all. They hit that lick. But you know how you get your riches back, Puerto Rican man? You keep the laws of God. It's a very simple solution to obtaining your riches back and greater riches than you ever had in this rock. That's right. Greater riches when you go back and you get Samaria back, which you read about in the Bible. You read about Samaria, the land of Ephraim, right? What's that? What's the land of Manasseh? You read about the land of Manasseh, uh, 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 Gilead, Gilead the water. You read about Gilead, right? You read about all that beautiful area up there in the northern part of Israel. That's where you got your real riches at, right? You'll get even more riches than the white man ever stole from you here. That's right. The same white man that piled your damn them boats up with so much of your gold that them boats start sinking in the Atlantic Ocean. You'll have more riches than were ever taken from you, right? If you keep the commandments of God. Go ahead. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Uh, what is that? The, the Deuteronomy 33 uh, uh, about the riches below Duma Ephraim. You know what I'm saying? It's either 49 or 33. Go ahead. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh huh. But as it is written, Read on. I have not seen, uh -huh. nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. We, we, we can't even comprehend the gift that the Most High is going to give his loyal servants. That's right. We can't comprehend the gifts from God for those that keep the commandments. They're not, it's not comprehensible, man. You're fecal, you're fickle, my fecal, Salaki. Well, your mind is fecal as well. Yeah, right. your, your fickle mind, your small, narrow mind cannot understand the gifts of the Most High. That's, right. That's what y'all don't understand. And if you would keep his commandments, you'd actually be eligible to receive. That's right. But instead, you'd rather go in these goddamn places, eat pork, right? Dress like a whore, walk up and down the street, and be miserable inside. You'd rather do that. That's our people, man. Right? Salaki. I got something. What's up? We got Doc right here. Fine. Up in the glass. Yeah, what's, what's going on, brother? I'm just, I'm just listening. You just listening? What's your name, brother? Lewis. You said what? Lewis. 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 Where you from? Where your people from? I'm from. I was born here. Well, from Puerto Rico, right? Okay. So you know about the history of Puerto Rico, right? A little, a little bit, not so yeah, much. I grew up in Jersey. I grew up in you grew up in Jersey, but you you moved back here. You visiting what? I, I moved 
back. You move back. I'll pray some more. Let me show you something real quick. Give me that. You know what I want? Yeah. I just coughed. Let me show you something. I'm going to show you that the history of Puerto Rico is in the Bible. This is not a... You, have you heard that before? You've heard this before. You a little familiar with that? Beautiful. All right. Let's deal with the history of Puerto Rico in the Bible. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, right verse 13. Uh-huh. And of Joseph, he said... Uh -huh. Of Joseph. Right. Read. Blessed of the Lord uh -huh. be his land. Blessed be his land. Right. Read. For the precious things of heaven. It say what? For the precious things of heaven. Read on. For the dew and for the deep that cultive beneath. It said for the, the treasures or the riches that are in the deep, right? So now, what happened when they started to load those ships up in Puerto Rico, right? And they started to leave and try to sail back to Spain. You know what happened? A lot of them ships were so full of gold and resources, they sunk. That's when they say the, 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 the riches in the deep, right? See, because when they got here, that's why they hardly named it Puerto Rico. Because this, they said, was riches all over this place. So what did they do when they found the riches in your island? They began to rob. They began to steal, right? They began to put a genocide on the Taino Indian because of that, right? But y'all having a rich land, that was coming right from this Bible. See, what you're going to learn is y'all come from the tribe of Ephraim, right? You heard of Joseph in the Bible. You know about Joseph, right? Joseph, he was separated from his brethren, sold into slavery was there in Egypt, right? He had two sons, one named Ephraim and one named Manasseh, right? And the leader of almost all the tribes of Israel is Ephraim, right? And that's the tribe that the Puerto Rican is from. Why do you think the Puerto Ricans are the most prominent Latino? What Latino, what group of Latinos is more prominent than the Puerto Rican? Mexican maybe. Mexican maybe, right? That's the closest thing. Other than that, everybody is looking to the Puerto Rican, right? More than any, but same way out of if you go to Haiti, you go to Jamaica, and you, you have the a, a, a American black man, everybody looks at the American black man, right? See, because you guys are the leader of the Latinos, and African American is the leader of the blacks. That's all a part of prophecy. Y'all the tribe of Ephraim, they're the tribe of Judah, right? right. Precept? I got Genesis. Go ahead, read that real quick. I'm having to read this for you real quick. Go ahead. God. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, and verse 22. Uh huh. Joseph is a fruitful bow. It say what? Joseph is a fruitful bow. You know bow. what that means, a fruitful bow? That means you make a lot of children, right? Did a Puerto Rican make a lot of children? Well, this place ain't that big, right? It's about, what, two, three million of you just in New York. Just in New York, it's a couple million of you, right? Then there's how many million here? They don't know, but I think it's like five. Like five, four. And this is a little place to have that many babies because Joseph is a fruitful bow, brother. Read. Even a fruitful bow by a well. They say by a well. So a bow is an old English term for a branch, right? So if a tree grows near a well, like a natural source of water, that tree is going to grow a lot. See what I'm saying? That's what it's likening y'all reproductive ability to, like a tree that's by a natural source of water, right? Read. Whose branches run over the wall. Uh-huh, branches run over the wall, meaning this island is not big enough for you. Y'all got to go, you see what I'm saying, to America now. Your branches went over the wall, right? Uh, Read. The archers have sorely grieved him. They say the archers, you know what an archer is? They shoot an arrow, right? So the, or how did the archer solely grieve you? Well, the Spaniard came and enslaved you, killed you, extorted you, robbed you. Then after the Spaniard was gone, who came? America. Right. Now, oh, you're gonna, you guys are going to be a part of America. What the hell has America done for Puerto Rico? Right? What part, of, what part of town are you from? Are you living? I live in Santurce. You said what? Santurce. Oh, oh, in this area, right? Okay. We was in uh, La Perla yesterday, right? Right? Th them houses, they have rules. Right? Where was, uh, how did they let that happen? Why didn't they come down here and fix the goddamn roof? Because they don't care. The archers have sorely grieved. Remember Trump came and was shooting the damn paper towels? How disrespectful is that? But it said the archers have sorely grieved you, right? That's how they grieved you. Read. And shot at him uh -huh. and hated him. And, and what? And hated they him. Hate, they hate, listen, they hate the Puerto Rican. They hate the African American. They hate the Dominican. They, all of us, black and Hispanic, we're just niggas and spicks to them. That's all we are, right? Read. But his bow abode in strength. See that? But even though they put you guys through all that, here you are standing strong. Taino Indian right in front of me right now, right? That's right. Here right. you still That's are. Right. right? Read. Con. Abode in strength and the arms of his bands were made strong. That's right. And you still, you, you've been made strong and you're going to get even stronger when y'all come back to understanding who you are. That you're an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim. That's right. That you're supposed to keep the commandments of God. You're going to get even stronger, brother. That's, That's right. what we hear to strengthen our brothers from the tribe of Ephraim. Read. Made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. See that? Our God. That's who's going to strengthen us, right? 
We've been looking for our slave master to save us for so long, right? Even I heard, where's my brother? Where's the one at? My brother right here, he's, our, he's my man down here in Puerto Rico, right? He said in Puerto Rico, he said all everybody's talking about in Puerto Rico is this shot. They want to hurry up and get this shot, right? But wait a minute, why are we looking to get a shot, right? This same white man came to Puerto Rico in the 30s and what he do? He went and poisoned all the wombs and made all them Puerto Rican women sterile, right? So they couldn't have babies, God. right? Because he's a fruitful bow by a well. That's why he did that, right? That's right. Can't but he, that same devil did that to your foremothers, and we think that he gonna have something good for us in this goddamn shot? What sense to that, man? He ain't gonna have nothing good for us in that shot. You see what I'm saying? But our people are still looking for the white man to save us with a shot. When are we gonna start looking to our God to right. save us? That's right. See, but the problem is they gave us a white picture and said that was God. So subconsciously we look into the white man because they done beat it into our brains that he's God. That Jesus at Blanco, when we go into church, right? I grew up Catholic, right? When I go into Catholic church, it's El Blanco, that's who is in there, right? And he says, Jesus, he's Dios. You see what I'm saying? But th that's not who God is. When you read about God, you read about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is saying he has skin of bronze, hair of wool. Do you have, right. you have skin of bronze and hair of wool? I'm holding that right now. Would you say that would describe you? Bronze? You see what I'm saying, right? Read that. Con. Hmm. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 13. Uh, 14. 14, Con. Uh -huh. Verse 14, uh -huh. his head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. It's like snow, right? Right like snow in color, woolly in texture, right? Like, you know, your grandfather. He, get, he goes gray, right? So his hair is white, but it's still got that texture like yours, right? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read on. And his feet. His feet, right? Your feet the same color as the rest of you, right? Read. Like unto fine brass. Like unto that brass, right? Or that bronze, right? That brown color, right? right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if that's what they say Jesus looked like, who the hell is this white boy in the church? Right. Every time I go to the glacier, it's El Blanco is on the wall. Is what is it? You know but you see, there's a reason for that. Because when you see that, now we start identifying them with God. So now we start looking to them as God. Watch this. Give me Leviticus 26 and 1 real quick. Right? right? Let me show you what God said about that picture that we got ingrained in our brains, right? Read right. that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 1. Uh-huh. Ye shall make no idols, nor graven image. See that? Go ahead. Neither rear you up a standing image. A standing. But here we see the idols and the graven image and the standing image up in the church. But the Bible say don't do that. Right. So there's a reason why they did it. Because we knew they knew we wasn't going to open this and read it. We were just going to see them pictures. Oh, that's God? Okay, cool. That's Jesus? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And that's in our minds. So now when, the, when, when Trump comes to the island, we go, oh, the hurricane came. Trump, he's going to save us. And what does Trump do? Start shooting jump shots with rolls of paper towels. You see what I'm saying? No salvation. Right? Hold it. Give me Leviticus 4 and 7. I mean, Lamentations 4 and 17, right? You got that? Okay, hit that. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Uh -huh. As for us. As for us, right? The black and Latino man. Read. Our eyes are yet failed uh -huh. for our vain help. For our what? Our vain help. There was no help, right? Rewatch. In our watching, uh -huh. we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We're looking for somebody to save us that couldn't, that can't save us. Right. They don't want to save us, right. and even if they wanted to save us, they don't have the ability to save us. The only person who has the ability to save us is God, is God. the Most High. Right. And He's going to save us as soon as we do what He asks us to do. And he asked us to keep his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. That's what he asked us, right? You heard of the book of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, right? In the Bible, right? Those are the books that have God's instructions in them, his laws, his statutes, his commandments. Those are the books we got to read to understand the do's and don'ts, the rules that God laid for us. When we break these rules, he forsakes us. That's why we're in this position now, for breaking the rules, right? Like the average, re if I go to the average restaurant up and down this street, 60% of that menu going to have pig on it, right? God said don't eat no pig. What about shrimp? What about crab? You see, what about conch? They eat conch, y'all eat conch in Puerto Rico? Concha. The, co concha? La concha? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. God said not to eat none of that. But what do we do? We eat it like it's a damn delicacy. That's just a small level. Bowing down to that white Jesus, that's another thing he told us not to do, right? Hating our brother, that's another thing he told us not to do, right? Killing our brother, stealing from our brother, 
All these things he told us. Now, this is stuff that we do every day. We don't think nothing even about it, right? And that's the problem. See, as soon as we stop doing that to each other, we're going to be able to get liberty from up under this white man. You see what I'm saying? But until then, we're going to keep being in slave. We're going to keep being in hell. We're going to keep being in poverty, right? Precept hit it. Deuteronomy 21 and uh, 28. What? Where? 28. Go ahead. Uh -huh. And it's, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. We're going to finish this one. I'm going to let you go. Finish this one. Go ahead. To observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, Read on. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. It, go ahead above all nations of the earth. We're going to be above everybody if we do what God said. That's simple, brother. That's simple. You got the flyer? They give you a flyer? Okay, just look into that, brother. All right, you have a good night. I know this curfew. You have a good night. All right, brother. Come on. You know? All praise to the most high, man. La Concha right there. Right? Where? Where? Oh, La Concha. That's the name of the goddamn place, man. Ain't that something? Ain't that something, man? Right? So, like, you know, all for you. So, like, you had something? What you had? I know you holding something. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I was going to bring this out for the brother. Go ahead, hit it. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5. Uh huh. And it reads It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, uh -huh. even as Yahweh my God commanded me, uh -huh. that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Read on. Keep therefore and do it them. Say what? Keep therefore and do we them. We're going to keep and do the commandments of God. That's what we're supposed to keep and do. Right, read. For this is your wisdom uh -huh. and your understanding in the sight of the nations. And we don't keep and do it. So now we don't have wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations. Now the nations look at us as stupid and they take advantage of us because we don't have wisdom in their sight. We don't have anything. All we have is the damn plantation church that's been handed to us. All we have is whatever BS philosophies that we've cultivated along the way, not realizing that there's a book, the most important book in all of history throughout the whole world that's been given to us. And if we open it and read it, our wisdom would be right before our eyes. But all we do is play a game. Go ahead. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 17. Uh -huh. Ephraim is joined to idols. They say what? Ephraim is joined to idols. That's the problem. Ephraim is joined to idols, man. I've seen it my whole life, and I came to that. To the hub of Ephraim, and I saw it even more. Read. Let him alone. It say what? Let him alone. Let him alone. But now it ain't time to leave you alone. Now we're here to bother you. Right? Now we're here to be on your ass and let you know it's been high. It's been long enough for idolatry, Ephraim. So-called Puerto Rican man. Enough is enough. You want to get out of this hellhole? You want to be tired of hurricane ravishing your goddamn island and nobody doing anything to help you? It's simple. Come back to the laws of God. Leave the idols alone. Three Kings Day is BS. That's right. Right? Finish that. Go ahead. I'm coming to you. Go ahead. Their drink is sour. They have committed whoredom continually. They have what? Committed whoredom continually. All them seeds of Bojas, all that sweet and white and merry, that is whoredom against God. Read. Uh, her rulers with shame do love. Uh -huh. Give ye. The wind hath bound her up in her wings, uh -huh. and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifice. That's right. Her wind have bound her up in the wings, meaning she got blew away from her home. And she had to come to Puerto Rico. And God blessed Puerto Rico, and you still went off in Puerto Rico, so that conquistador had to come. Right? And he did what he did. Now look. Right. Keep the laws of God. Go ahead. Uh, this is the book of Judith. Chapter 5 and verse 17. Uh -huh. And whilst they sin not before their God. They say what? And whilst they sin not before their God. When you don't break the laws of God, read. They prosper. You prosper. Why are you not prospering? It's simple. Because you are breaking the laws of God. Because you are in sin, so-called black and Hispanic man. And if you don't stop sinning, you're going to continually not prosper. You're going to have poverty. But if you don't sin, prosperity will come to you. And not just prosperity in this kingdom, because that's what a lot of our people are ignorantly seeking right now. Not prosperity in this kingdom. We're talking about actual prosperity, meaning your own kingdom, your own setup, your own society, your own righteous rulership under the only begotten of the Father who you call Christ, Yahweh Shah. That's right. Right? Go ahead. Time. That's a lot. That's a lot. You want right? Yeah. And whilst they sin not before their God, they prosper. Because the God that hateth iniquity. It say what? Because the God that hateth iniquity. Iniquity is sin. God hates that. When are we going to get that through our minds? We talk about sin and being sinners as a people so casually, but God hates it. Why do we talk about doing 
things that God hates in a casual manner. How stupid can you so-called blacks and Hispanics be? Right? Finish that. Because the God that hated iniquity was with them. Uh -huh. But when they departed from the way. Like we are now, we departed, we sinned, we broke the laws of God. We hated each other. We worship idols. We ate abomination. Read. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, uh -huh. they were destroyed in many battles, uh -huh. very sore. They see that? And that's what happened. So why was the Taino able to be conquered here? Because he has departed from the ways of his God. So he was destroyed in many battles, very sore, just like the rest of them. Right? Read. And were led captives into a land that was not theirs. Uh-huh. And, the and, and, and guess what? The so-called Puerto Rican man was put on ships and sent around. A lot of them got sent to a dole plantation way to hell in Hawaii, man. How the hell does that happen? Right? How you in a slave in Hawaii somewhere? Right? Picking pineapples for the white man. Finish that. And were led captives into a land that was not theirs, and the temple of their God was cast to the ground, uh -huh. and their cities were taken by their enemies. See that? Go ahead, precept. Ah, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? See, that's the problem. You blacks and Hispanics are simple as hell. And you just love and relish simplicity. That's all you want. All you want is simplicity. All you want is a crumb off the devil's pie. What the hell with the devil's pie? You need your own pie, right? And the whole thing, not a slice. That's the problem there. Go ahead. And the scorners delight in their scorning, uh -huh. and fools hate knowledge. That's the problem. Our people have become so goddamn foolish, you hate knowledge. Here the knowledge of God is pouring out like this rain in front of you, and you hate it. You're looking marveling, but you're not stopping and getting the information. And you're going to remain impoverished because of it, right? But, but, but you got to understand the Most High has a small sanctuary all over the place amongst his people that's going to repent, that's going to turn to righteousness, that's going to keep his commandments. And they're going to be spared, most I will, from this terrible day that's coming. A terrible day is coming to this place. And Puerto Rico's in the goddamn blast radius. I hope you know that, right? Go ahead. Con, turn ye at my reproof. Mm -hmm. Behold, I will pour... No, read that part again. Con, turn ye at my reproof. Turn ye, meaning repent when you hear this word that's come right. out. Yeah. You blacks and Hispanics, you hear this word, you're supposed to turn. You're supposed to stop what you're doing, turn, repent, leave wickedness in the past, and head to righteousness. That's right. Read. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Uh huh. It'll, I what? I will pour out my spirit unto you. Read on. I will make known my words unto you. See that? He's going to give us the Holy Spirit that's going to enable us to understand what's in this Bible. The reason why this whole, your whole life, you never understood what's in the Bible is simple. Because the Holy Spirit never came to you. It never came to you because you didn't turn when you heard the reproof. But now, turn and hear it. Let the Holy Spirit resonate with you and begin to understand this Bible. And understand that you blacks and Hispanics, you are the Israelites. And understand that this place is getting ready to be destroyed. That's All right. we got to do is keep the laws in the faith. Cut. Read. Because I have called and ye refuse. One more time. Because I have called and ye refuse. How has God called? He's called through sending his men to these streets. Right? We're in Condado right now. In these streets, it's local native Puerto Ricans. It's all type of black and Hispanic tourists out here. And we're calling to you, right? We called and what? And ye refused. And what? And ye refused. You're refusing to call a God. Read. I have stretched out my hand uh -huh. and no man regard. Here we are. Y'all don't care that the Most High sent his men here with a message directly from him to you. You're going to be destroyed, man. Right. At least you repent. Go ahead. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 20. Uh -huh. And those, Yahweh, Give you the bread of adversity Read on. and the water of affliction, uh -huh. yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. We're not removed into the corner. We're live and direct on your damn corner. That's right. Telling you what it is in the spirit and power of your how about Shimmy Go what? ahead. But then I shall see thy teachers. Here you are, you're seeing your teachers. You're seeing the men of God before you now, right? And you ain't have enough sense to listen. You're going to be destroyed. Go ahead. And thine ears shall hear a word and behind what? thee. And what? And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. You hear a word in your head. Read. Saying, this is the way. What? This is the way. This is the way. The way of the laws and commandments of God and faith in his son. That is the way. Read on. Walk ye in it. What? Walk ye in it. This is the way to walk, so-called blacks and Hispanics. Walk in the laws, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly father and faith in his son. That's the way you walk. Go ahead. 
When you turn into the right hand uh -huh. and when you turn into the left, read on. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images uh -huh. of silver. That's right. You defile that covering. You, what you got to do is you got to throw down that Caesar Vosier, that white Jesus. You got to throw down that fake white mirror. You got to throw down them three kings that throw all that down. Defile it. Read. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images uh -huh. of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Read on. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. As a tampon. You treat that white Jesus like a tampon. That's yeah. what the word of God says, right? Read on. Thou shalt say unto it, get thee hence. Get the hell away from me. That's what you're supposed to say to that. Right? More on that? No, I got Con, hit your precept. We closing out. Go ahead. Con, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 18. Mm -hmm. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, uh -huh. and thou givest him not warning, Read on. nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, uh -huh. to save his life. Read on. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, uh -huh. but his blood will I require at thine hand. That's why we're here to get this word out to you to you so-called blacks and Hispanics. So that blood's not on our hands. We're trying to save your goddamn life. You don't want to get saved walking to death. We don't care, but we warned you. We warned you the path that you were walking down was going to lead to your death. Read. Yet if thou warn the wicked, uh -huh. and he turn not from his wickedness. And that's what we're doing. We're warning y'all, but y'all don't want to turn, right? I mean, a few brothers stopped, listened, got edified, beautiful. But the majority of y'all, just like every other place we've ever been, don't want to turn. Read. Nor from his wicked way, uh -huh. he shall die in his iniquity. That's what's coming. Death to all of you that don't turn and come back to your God, black and Hispanic man. Right. That's what the Most High God has pronounced against you. With that, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Abinawi Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai, and we say, Kwam Yashallah. Kwam Yashallah.